Good morning, everybody. It's 728 right now, and this is the time of year people are getting geared up for the big game, and we're talking big game. A lot of people are talking about a particular game that involves some puppies, Jackie. Yeah, and as we've mentioned on Iowa Live, you're only going to see this here on CWI with 23 because this is a tradition that's been on this program since a Heinz 57 Pet Rescue and Transport received a phone call uh, <laughs> yeah. eight years ago. Eight years ago. Uh, and it just kind of came out of the blue, Amy. And what was that phone call? It was a guy that said, I'm a producer from Animal Planet. We saw one of your puppies online. We'd like it to be in the puppy bowl. And it was And that. I laughed and yeah. said, who are you? <laughs> That's a joke, right? I'm like, who is Who's this? What do you want? Me? And he was just repeated himself. It was funny. <laughs> uh, but it was a simple thing like that. They saw a puppy you had on a website that has yeah. kind of changed your course for the last right. eight years. I mean, since then... Um, I mean, we're in a town of 1,093 people, mm -hmm. and now we do more adoptions than there are people in our town. That's so. a great statistic. Wow. Yeah. yeah, so we just exploded after that. So how does it work uh, it, when it comes to Puppy Bowl, and now that there is a relationship, they kind of seek out what puppies you have? Yeah, they just reach out to us every year and um, sometime in May and say, we need puppies from this age to this age. and. Who do you have? So we send pictures and they pick. And they pick. And yeah. this year, how many lucky puppies were chosen to go to New York? Seven were chosen. Seven, Seven. were yep. chosen. So we have six here in the studio. How cool is that? And fortunate, they've all been adopted. Just, you know, oh, you gotta so everybody love that. knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they've all been yeah, adopted. Yeah, don't fall in love too much this morning. Uh, <laughs> These are their happy owners. <laughs> now, Amy, tell everybody how you acquired the dogs in the first place. Um, well, sometimes they just drive up and in a car like... Ferris and Ferris here. Okay. <laughs> Ferris and Cookie arrived on the same day. Okay. Um, Someone just dropped them off. They just, yeah, they really? they came with uh, forty seven other dogs. That wow was a bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we weren't anticipating that, but um, but we handled it, and and now look, we have two stars. Mm -hmm. um, Ferris had a leg that had been injured, so we only had it down to you know, midway down his leg and his foot was gone. So he had to have his leg amputated mm -hmm. shortly and after he arrived. People probably didn't even realize that when you're taking a look at him right, right now. Uh, let's, let's turn him around here so you can see, there he is. Yeah, he doesn't know he's missing yeah, a leg. You don't no. know, do you? And you're not going to notice it when he's rocking it on the right. Bowl stage. Either. Yeah, he made a, he made a um, touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Despite it, he actually moves better without the the partial the leg area. yeah, yeah. He, he moves just like everyone else and yeah. as you can see roommates are starting to remember one another from when this was filmed back in october which is why if you're seeing a lot of imagery going on right now you might be like they look a little not like puppies anymore and yeah. this was filmed back in october so some of them had time to grow <laughs> right right and they have <laughs> and they have okay so besides ferris who does get special attention this year because they're doing a, a big push with dogs with special needs because right. everyone needs to be adopted in right of forever right. home so you're going to be seeing ferris who is a part of the starting lineup who else do we have in studio with us this morning that's part of the puppy bowl well starting over at the far end we have clarence whose real name is brucey um, Rushi? Okay. But his stage name is Clarence. Okay. And um, and you'll see him running around in the game. And then we have Jackson. And Jackson's from Mount Air. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of feral dogs running around right. Mount Air. Yeah, we understand that. Yeah. Um, and Jackson's real name is? Jackson. 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 Okay. He's, He's the only one. one. He's like the only one. Because <laughs> another thing people might not realize, Animal Planet uh, likes to name a lot of the puppies just for right. And and actually, most purposes. of them have three names because we name them, and then Puppy Bowl renames <laughs> them if we've ra named them something that's trademarked, and then their adopters name them. Oh wow! So like, Ferris is really Augie, Augie and he's also he started out the wrecking ball the wrecking ball <laughs> <laughs> there you go buddy all right let's keep going so, down the line yeah. who do we have okay, next okay so um oh next we have cookie aka sassy lee on the show and <laughs> they're just in love yeah they are <laughs> hanging out um sassy lee got everybody to chase her and they didn't really like that on the show, so they took her off. I know, oh. she was doing so well. She was, she was just going back and forth. Yeah, and she fun. had just picked up a toy. Yeah. But um, then we have Thor, who on the show is Brody. And he started out Braveheart. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and um, he did quite well on the show, so you'll see a lot of him. Yep. And then we have Jack Jack, who belongs to you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, tell that story, uh, uh, Amy, how Jack Jack got to be in the Puppy Bowl after Jackie already took a look at Jack Jack yeah, and, well, and fell in love. Well, and he actually came to us after they did their picks, um, shortly after they did their picks. And um, he was from a backyard breeder over on the east side of Iowa. Mm -hmm. And um, I sent Puppy Bowl a picture and I said, hey, check this one out. <laughs> this one's <laughs> awfully cute. <laughs> and they're like, he is. And they agree. Why don't you bring him? <laughs> yeah, and at the same time, Jackie was taking a look at Jack Jack and yeah. she fell in love instantly. Yeah. She did. did. And then I'm like, hey, do you mind if I take him to New York? <laughs> so it wasn't even in, and through the ad adoption process, wasn't even in our house a week and already he was off on yeah. a huge trip yeah. to New York. And <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Amy, explain the adoption process with a Heinz because it's a little different than some places because you check everybody out, don't you? We check everybody out because we want to make sure they're going to the best fit home for them. Um, you know, we have a lot of wonderful people that apply to adopt, but they might be better suited for a different dog. Mm -hmm. So we might turn somebody down for, say, Augie, but they, because they'd be a better fit for somebody else. Right. So, um, so we check everybody out. We do background checks for bully breed dogs, so we, they don't get in the hands of the wrong people. Um, and we do home visits to, okay. you know, like if somebody are owned labs and and they want a little guy like this, we make sure their fence is secure enough for a small dog, things like that, just so everybody's safe when they go. Yeah, it's, it's very time consuming, but very beneficial. Though. It is, because then we try and ensure they have a forever home. Right. Absolutely. And uh, before we get to a special event that's happening, obviously we all know what's happening Sunday, mm -hmm. but uh, you want to be part of a, a very special watch party. I want to talk to uh, Mark here really quickly. I'm going to grab the microphone. Uh, <laughs> since you have uh, a Ferris, uh, otherwise known as Augie in real life, uh, tell us what it's like to have a dog with special needs. Uh, since that's such a huge focus this year with the Puppy Bowl, sure. do you notice a difference or how special it is to have uh, uh, Augie in your life? Well, so when we first uh, got Augie, we um, uh, were very aware of that and were worried about that. We have some stairs in the back and we also have hardwood floors. Um, wow. After about a week though, he completely adapted. He doesn't even know that he has three legs. Uh, when he runs, uh, he runs like any other dog and you can't even tell that he has three legs. So wow. we're... Uh, we're elated to have Augie. He's probably the best dog we've ever had. Uh, which is wonderful to hear because uh, the whole reason they're spotlighting dogs with special needs and you're going to see a, a deaf dog, a blind dog, a dog with a cleft lip, uh, dogs that don't have every single limb, they're still wonderful members of your family. Oh my gosh, yes. And we have two cats and the cat's driving crazy, but <laughs> they like to perch in our living room and stare down at him. and. It's a fun time. It is a fun time. Well, thank you for saying a few words. All right, Amy, we need to get everybody to a watch party on Sunday. Give us yes, all the we details. Do. Um, so it's Doc's Lounge over in Johnston from 1 to 4. Who's been hosting it for years. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. They've been very kind, and they let us bring the dogs. So hopefully everybody can come. And um, we also have some adoptable puppies there on a football field. Aww. So, and we have prizes and a silent auction and food, and we watch the game. And it's really fun. You know, everybody cheers when one of our dogs makes a touchdown, and it's just a good time. Yeah, the, the games you play are fun, too. So we got to make sure we, we include all those because you really have a great time. And, and yeah, we want to remind it's everybody, fun party. this is a fundraiser. Yes, it As is. As you yeah. are working yes. to save lives and find forever homes every single day, we need to continue that amazing exactly. effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it takes a lot of money to, to do what we do. Absolutely. So uh, we encourage you to come on out, Doc's Lounge. If you have big plans for the other game, you'll get in, you'll go you'll out, you'll get to meet some true superstars. <laughs> if you want some paw prints, autographs, or some photos, everyone's going to be there hanging out, having a great time, and supporting a great local organization we have, and that's a Heinz 57 Pet Rescue and Transport. Because I had a little more invested this year, I was able to go to New York, uh, not only as a pet parent, but also to get some incredible behind-the-scenes footage, and we'll be showing more of that throughout the week here mm -hmm. on Iowa Live. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Amy, it, how does it feel? Eight years in, mm -hmm. is it still exciting? Is it, it is still, still exciting. Yeah. It is. It's fun to go and it's fun for our fosters to be able to take the dogs that they fostered. And so it's a perk of volunteering. Absolutely. If your dog is chosen, you get to go to New York with us. 
All right, this is awesome. Again, these dogs are incredible. Uh, the work you do and all the volunteers uh, that are involved too, and all the owners, uh, they're absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for everything that you do. And thank you guys for having us every year. Not absolutely. Really appreciate it. I mean, how can you know? I, we gotta have this cuteness because it's, <laughs> it, it's too much fun. Thank you all the parents for adopting and for being here today. Uh, we hope you can come out to watch an incredible show this Sunday, Doc's Lounge. We're gonna be there a little early starting at one. Mm -hmm. uh, the official Puppy Bowl kicks off at two. Uh, so if nothing else, we hope you can tune in and celebrate local with some incredible players that are part of this year's game. You know what else we need to do, Jackie? Another tradition we have here on the program is that one of the, uh, the Puppy Bowl puppies picks the football game Ooh, winner. That's and they've right. been doing rather well over the years. And uh, I believe we're going to pull on the talents of Jack Jack. Is that okay, Jackie? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, so we'll find out who Jack Jack picks in the football game. Uh, is it going to be the Chiefs? Will it be the 49ers? We'll find out in just a matter of moments. Totally serious news. Is Team Ruff, Team Fluff going at it once again. <laughs>